All right, welcome back, everyone. We all watched it unfold last night. Dallas Bachelorette Rachel Lindsay finally getting the marriage proposal she wanted. Brian getting the first impression rose of the season and the final rose as well. Rachel Lynn Lindsay, will you be my reina forever? So pretty, yes. Marry me. <laughs> yes, give it to me. There he is with that engagement ring on a very windy mountaintop in Spain. This coming after major drama with runner-up Peter, who is still not ready to commit on Rachel's timeline. Now, Brian was the last man standing among 32 contestants this season, three of them from Dallas, and one of them, Adam Gottschalk. He did his best to win Rachel's heart. Yes, he did, and he survived to tell about it all. It was like Survivor with love. And Adam is here now uh, to tell us more about it. Nice to see you, Adam. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, so you were watching last night? I was. Um, did you know ahead of the show, you did not know ahead of the show how it was going to end, or did you have a feeling it was going to be Brian? I had a feeling that I think at that moment, I thought it was going to be Brian. Yeah. Was there anything about your time on the show and seeing them interact with each other or interacting with him that gave you any indication it might come down to, to him in the end? You know, I, I had a really cool opportunity, so I stayed, uh, Brian and I roomed in one of the hotels before we left. Yeah. So I, got, I, I, I knew about him and we got to know each other a lot better. And uh, I think wa after watching it and seeing how Brian's relationship progressed, because there's things that we don't see that... Right, not all of it's captured on camera. Exactly. And uh, watching Brian, and from the first night, him kissing her to just all the, th the, the signs and the way she would look at him, the way he steps into a room, I started to just put the pieces... You were, the you were feeling it. You were yeah. feeling it. Um, in terms of the other guys from Dallas, it was Fred and Jack, right? Yeah. Um, did you bond with them at all? Did you know them before? No, adventure. I actually didn't. Well, you know, Fred lives in L.A. now, but okay. uh, Jack, being from here, we've crossed. When we first met each other, I was like, hey, you're from Dallas, right? He's like, yeah, and we've been in the same place probably at the same time. Socially recognizing yeah, some familiarity. But, but we've never crossed paths with one another. Um, let me ask you this. So you made it to the top six, um, and you've already sort of touched upon this. There were things that we didn't see because you didn't make a lot of the show leading up to that point. Um, what happened behind the scenes that we didn't see that better defines what your relationship with Rachel was like? I think it was probably when we were in Copenhagen and it was a rose ceremony where it was down to the last roses between Alex and I. And what happened was I, there was one rose left, Rachel goes to pick it up and I interrupted the whole rose ceremony. And I said, Rachel, I need to talk to you. <laughs> and uh, I, it was, I was really shocked. I don't, again, I don't know why they didn't put that in there because it, it was a turning point for both of us. And I pulled her aside and I said, Rachel, um, I'm not ready to go home, and I want you to know that. And yeah. I said that a part of me is starting to fall in love with you, and I want you to be able to feel how I feel. And she says, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And we hugged it out, and then she went, go, goes back to the podium, grabs a rose, and gives it to me. Uh, and that was like a turning point where I think that's where I started to kind of like fall into that that realm of, of what The Bachelor and Bachelorette's all about. And the thing is, people don't understand is that- Getting swept up in, in the real emotion exactly. of it. Because to some point, people think it's contrived. Do you feel like you had um, any closure with her when all was said and done? She said at the Men Tell All um, that the fact that you made it as far as you did was a testament to the kind of man you are. I thought that was a really yeah. great compliment. No, and she's an incredible woman, and I, I appreciate everything she's done because I've been able to jump out of my comfort zone when it comes to of being vulnerable and open you know, to even dating and women in general. I was going to ask you, how has your life changed since this show? Has has the process by which you date changed? Have you been dating since you've been back? Yeah, I, absolutely. And this really helps you alleviate so many issues or red flags that maybe pop up in a relationship in the beginning. Interesting. And it just it makes you realize, you know, I'm not going to waste my time with that. I'm going to just move on to something Do you else. also think that the women you date more know authentically a lot more about you from the show? Did the show accurately depict who you are in essence, do you think? I think a part of it did. Obviously, there's the edit is really the end result of how that all comes together. Is there any anything about having had the experience that you have to explain away when you're dating someone who's seen the show and goes on a date with you? No, not necessarily, all right, surprisingly so, enough. So to that end, this, the show served you well? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what comes next for you in terms of putting all of this in context? You were on The Bachelor uh, in Paradise show. Yeah. You saw that controversy at least unfold in the headlines. Were you witness to it in person? No, uh, I actually was not. I was supposed to fly out the week, um, the week of the closure. And then obviously things got, well, got put on hold. Yeah, they put them on hold. That was Demario and Corinne. Yeah. Um, and, and it seems as if, because both of them are talking about it publicly and production continued, that whatever that issue was has since been resolved. Correct. But they are going to address it in the show. What can you expect? 
Uh, I think what's going to happen, look, it's it's no surprise that the show did get put on hold. And I think they are going to highlight the reasons why that happened. They can't ignore it, right? Exactly. And that, that's what made Paradise this year Paradise. Yeah. And I think that's what's going to make things really important. And you're going to see a, a makeshift in, in the whole... Um, really the energy of how paradise you know people are going to come back and we're actually really excited that things are back and rolling and i think because of that condensed time that we have i think that relationships will unfold and i think we're going to start seeing it in the next couple yeah, of weeks i don't want to put you on the spot here but when that happened on the front end initially a lot of people said well this may speak to the issue of how these shows use alcohol to sort of um, ply people and sort of bring the action to fruition etc do you think that's true or is that overblown it's really overblown. At the end of the day, look, you, we're all grown individuals, and it's up to you to de decide how much you're going to drink. The alcohol is available there, mm. and if you want to keep drinking, sure. You well, can it's do that. available on late night talk shows too. Exactly. When celebrity guests come on, <laughs> so it's available wherever you are. It's just how responsible a person you are, and and how you can hold yourself, you know, in the, in instances like that. Yeah. All right. Well, it's good to see you. Yeah. And and Thank congratulations you. on everything else. You can't tell us if you found love on Bachelor in Paradise. Well, I guess by way of you telling me you're dating people back in Dallas, the answer is no. Well, you're gonna have to find out because <laughs> next week it starts airing and it's only gonna get better. And did you sort of inadvertently give give that away? Did I get you in trouble? No. All right. I hope not. We'll be watching. Thank you very awesome. much. Yeah, we appreciate it.